Hi, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. And we're from OutsideOurBubble.com, but today we're not bringing you our known for in the interwebs RV information. Nope, this is totally different. But it is techie. Yes. Yes. So, without further ado, <laughs> I have a camera in my eye. Yes, he's not kidding. I had an implant done. I'm not kidding either. No, she's not. I'm not kidding. She okay, said that. You have to explain now. Okay, 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 okay. Um, that's camera with a K. I did have an implant. I'm not kidding about any of this. This is true, and I just ask when you meet me in person, if you ever do, don't stare. <laughs> you won't see it. <laughs> you won't see it. But it, you can if I point it out to you. And what I'm referring to is this. What it is, is a little black disc, and it's called the camera inlay. And it was just recently approved by the FDA to be used. It's been used overseas for a while now, um, and but it was just recently approved here in the US. Yep. And what it does is, and why did I have it done, is like a camera, it changes the aperture, the amount of light that enters your eye. And in doing so, it changes the focal length and the amount of scattered light that is in your eye. And in doing so, allows me to read things close up, which means I no longer have to wear reading glasses. I no longer have to wear bifocal sunglasses. And I no longer have to read menus to him or order for him because he can't see the fine print. And I can now. Wonton soup. Now, I couldn't even do this before. I'm not kidding. I would be like this in the restaurant, and if it was too dark in the restaurant, that still wouldn't even work. That's how bad off I was. But with the camera inlay that has now been six weeks in, yep. six weeks, um, I have 2020 in this eye and 2015 in this eye, which brings me to the point of... My dominant eye also had LASIK surgery done that to improve the distance. So I was 2040 and 2040, and now I'm 2015 and 2020 in my, in my camera eye, and they're still expecting my camera eye to actually improve more with sharpness as my brain adapts and learns to use the different focal length and the amount of light it has entering the eye. Yes. So it, it is technology related, so the video is not that far off, and it definitely is outside our bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. So, yeah, I went under the laser. Uh, it was it was a great time. Um, <laughs> actually, it was not bad. It wasn't bad. No, it took 20 minutes for both eyes to get done. Um, and my doctor, Dr. Dr. Hanich, Hanich and his whole staff. And his whole staff are wonderful. Yeah. They're, they're, they're from Cornerstone Eye Associates in upstate New York, in Gates, New York. And uh, put it this way, when he put that little, little, little implant in my eye, right in my cornea, he got it within 100 microns of center. Yeah, that that's that's close. That's, that's pretty sick. Um, so kudos. Uh, and keep in mind that the older you get, uh, if you develop glaucoma or cataracts, you can still have those surgeries done if you have this implant. It won't affect any of that. I can even have LASIK done in this eye because yeah. the implant is actually now treated as part of the cornea. Yeah. So if you're looking for more information on what I'm talking about, of course, you can visit our website or go to camera.com. That's K-A-M-R-A dot com. And learn all about this new technology, uh, medical technology, yeah. that is an eye implant to help you see close up. How do they think of these things? I have no idea, <laughs> but I'm glad they did. Anyways, just wanted to tell you about this cool tech that I have in my head. Just remember, please don't stare if you see me. <laughs> I'm David. And I'm Brenda. And we're from OutsideOurBubble.com. And we're here really getting outside, outside our, our bubble. bubble. <laughs> Bye. Bye. OutsideOurBubble.com. Outside I'm a cyborg. <laughs>